I'm joined now by Matt Archer, who's the Director of Commercial Space Flight at the UK Space Agency. Good to see you this morning. It was all going so well. It was, yeah. Um, there are lots of successes that we take out of uh, the launch yesterday. Uh, we were the first to launch in Europe, and whilst the mission wasn't as successful as we'd hoped, there are lots of things that we have learned from it, and we know that we can do it again. So um, lots to look forward to. We're going to do it again. Yeah, I think we will. And it's the element that we'll work with Virgin to understand what went wrong uh, this time around. It looks like a technical anomaly with the second stage engine. Um, so in effect, the satellites got into space, but just didn't reach the required orbit to maintain it. So uh, once we know uh, what went wrong, uh, we'll communicate that back out and we'll learn and we'll go again. That That's the nature of launch. We know it's hard and we know there's always a risk of failure. Um, yeah, and unfortunately, we didn't quite make it. Yeah, so you think, what, in, in the next six months, the next year, potentially? I think so. It, it will depend on kind of virgin orbit and when they can come back and what's the, what's the appetite to do that quickly. And they've also got to work out what the anomaly is and what that means for uh, fixing it. So um, a bit more work to do to put a timeline on it, but looking forward to um, the next launch as soon as it can, can be arranged. And it's pretty depressing for those people who've invested, uh, especially in those satellites, and were hoping to get their businesses uh, up and running using that satellite technology. They will have lost uh, a lot of money, but also people will be losing confidence, won't they, in the UK's ability to compete in this sector? I, I don't think that's the case. I mean, so the satellites will be covered um, by insurance for, for these kind of events. Um, so the financial costs kind of won't won't be uh, severe, but obviously their their hopes of having services up and running uh, today to work, whether or that's, that's with kind of governments across the US here, uh, Oman, um, and commercial companies in Poland, the UK, and elsewhere. Um, so clearly their ambitions weren't fulfilled yesterday, and that that's disappointing. And we share that. You know, this is a project that the UK Space Agency has been leading for over five years. Um, and whilst we learned a lot, obviously, we can't hide the fact that we're disappointed we didn't kind of achieve mission success. Yeah. I mean, when you see what Elon Musk is doing and Jeff Bezos, cutting-edge technology in California, we're looking at a 21-year-old 747 taking off from a, a rainy Cornwall. I mean, can we, can we even begin to compete with, with that sort of technology, do you think? Yeah, they're different offerings. So whether it's Blue Origin or SpaceX um, and, and what they're doing in terms of heavy launch from the US... Those services continue to be available, but this is a different market. This is about getting to orbit quickly and having a more responsive access to space. And that's what we're going to deliver here in the UK. Um, so we'll see more launches from Scotland, hopefully later this year. Um, and looking forward to the next one from Cornwall. And that will see more commercial and government customers um, flying their payloads in due course. So we'll look forward to that. And the, and the technology in Scotland is, is, is different, isn't it? It's a different system up there. Yes, it is. So they'll, they'll be more traditional, what you used to see, which is a rocket on a vertical launch pad. Um, and again, different size vehicles. So some uh, mixture between carrying 200 kilograms or anywhere up to a tonne, depending on the systems that are involved. Um, but again, they're largely going to be taking kind of small commercial or government uh, satellites in space. Um, so that'll be kind of worked through over the coming year. And we'll, we'll look forward to doing this again with Cornwall and having kind of people here on site to do that again. Yeah, we can hear the, uh, the disappointment in your voice, uh, Matt. Um, thank you very much for, for, for coming on, and hopefully we can get you on again when we have uh, sort of an explanation as to what went wrong. Matt Archer from the UK yeah, Space Agency. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thanks.